So hello, I am Emulsifier and today I'm going to be starting a playthrough of Mass Effect. Now I've always heard that, you know, the older games are better than the new one. The only one I have seen of the Mass Effect games was uh, Mass Effect Andromeda, the new one, right? Andromeda. And people said that, you know, that was very bad, that the older ones are much better. So I thought, you know, I'm going to do a playthrough. Might as well record it because I'm going to be, you know, playing them anyway. So we're going to start. Welcome to Alliance Korea. Military Database. Classified information requested. Classified information. I like classified information. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. John Shepard, or I can make my own name. Confirm your ID as CDR John Shefford Alliance Military. Due to your COVID N7 status, ID records are incomplete. Please confirm identity from the records below or register manually. Female. Quick start. Quick start. You know what? I'm just going to play as John Please log in Shepherd. to access your profile. Oh, I can change my uh, name. So I call myself Emulsifier. Them. Profile reconstruction complete. <laughs> Emulsifier Shepherd. Uh, Please log in to access your profile. Tab. Confirm your first name. Story box. Okay, I'm Emulsifier Shepherd. Profile Shepherd. reconstruction complete. A sole survivor and a soldier from Earth. Once you confirm your character is complete, you will be unable to change any settings. Yeah, I, I know. I Identification know. confirmed. Combat difficulty. I'm a hardcore gamer. I will be playing on veteran. Uh, excuse me, game. Are you a coward? Let me play on insanity. No, I'll play on veteran. Auto level up. Uh, subtitles on. Auto save on. Aim assist. Psh, no. <laughs> no. Okay, there are none. There's no none. Uh, auto level up. Squad only. Sure. Squad only. Squad power usage, active, disable, uh, whatever, you know, whatever. I don't know what that means. Determines what skills. Yeah, just, just do whatever. All right, accept. Let us start the game. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die on a coups. He could have some serious emotional scars. I have scars? Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Yeah, every soldier. Sure. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space time. They called it a discovery of human history. Ah, Mass Effect, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I missed a whole bunch, but it's okay. Well, one last. The Arcturus Prime relay is in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. Commander, thank you. Thank you for calling me, Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. I mean, the graphics are definitely 2007. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Thrusters, ships. check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, 
Just under 1500k. 1500 is good. It is Your captain game. will be right. pleased. I hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. I have choice. Player choice. Uh, You're overreacting. No, what do I press? You always oh, expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Hey, Joker. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. Debriefing, yes, of course. You get that, Commander? You get that, Commander? Yes, I heard. I heard. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Well, he's Only a captain. He's talking to you, Joker. Yeah. Oh, I'm free. I have O to access my codex. All right. To access detailed tutorials, click the secondary tab, then the plus sign. Okay, what is primary? Secondary, okay. Aliens. Council rules. Roughly 1,200 years ago, the Turians were invited to join the Citadel Council to fulfill the role of galactic peacekeepers. The Turians have the largest fleet in Citadel space, and they make up the single largest portion of the Council's military forces. As their territory and influence has spread, the Turians have come to rely on the Solarians for military intelligence and the Asari for diplomacy. Despite a somewhat colonial attitude towards the rest of the galaxy, the ruling hierarchy understands they would lose more than they would gain if the other two races were ever removed. Turians come from an autocratic society that values discipline and possesses a strong sense of personal and collective honor. There is lingering animosity between Turians and humans over the First Contact War of 2157 which is known as the Relay 314 incident to the Turians. Officially, however, the two species are allies, and they enjoy civil, if cool, diplomatic relations. Okay, so the guy on our ship is a Turian. Turians. They have the largest fleet, and they are basically military people. Okay. And they rely on Salarians for intelligence, military intelligence, and sorry for diplomacy. And humans and I had a war, which is why they hate him. All right. Humanity and the, the Systems Alliance. Alliance is an independent supranational government representing the interests of humanity as a whole. The Alliance is responsible for the governance and defense of all extrasolar colonies and stations. The Alliance grew out of the various national space programs as a matter of practicality. Sol's planets had been explored and exploited through piecemeal national efforts. The expense of colonizing entire new solar systems could not be met by any one country. With humans knowing that alien contact was inevitable, there was enough political will to jointly fund an international effort. Still, the Alliance was often disregarded by those on Earth until the first contact war. While the national governments dithered and bickered over who should lead the effort to liberate Shanxi, the Alliance fleet struck decisively post-war public approval gave the Alliance the credibility to establish its own parliament and become the galactic face of humanity. Okay, and we are basically Alliance soldiers, right? Look, this is an Alliance ship. So, okay, by the way, why the hell is it America and South America only? Hmm, thought about that. Okay, what about secondary? Okay, yeah, I got it. Secondary. Player tutorials. Oh well, personal history summary. Oh, let's read this. Uh, you were born on Earth, but you never knew your parents. A child of the streets, you learned to live by your wits and guts, surviving in the hidden underbelly of the 
megatropolises of humanity's home world is net earth you got to lead you got to find a better life you joined the alliance military when you came of age you volunteered for an expedition to azuki a lush world on the outskirts of alliance space that had suddenly dropped out of contact arriving on the surface your patrol found the settlement intact but no survivors at nightfall the thresher maw struck mindless abominations of teeth and tentacles that rose up from beneath the earth horror movie constant gunfire couldn't drown out the shrieks of your fellow soldiers as they were dragged down to a gruesome death 50 marines died on azuki you were the only one to make it back to the landing zone alive a monument on the planet commemorates the massacre a grim reminder of the price humanity must pay as they spread throughout the stars so who attacked them thresher maws one second are these are these thresher's Roughly 1200 Turians. Turians are not treasures. Okay. Humanity and System Alliance timeline 2069. Uh nice. Armstrong outpost at the Shackleton crater becomes the first human settlement on Luna. That's the moon. It is formally founded on July 24th, the 100th anniversary of the first lunar landing. 2103. That's a big difference. A low level city in Eos Chasma. becomes the first human settlement on Mars. I don't think it will take them that long to go to Mars if they've already got a settlement on the moon. I mean, I'm guessing they are getting a settlement on the moon in like 3-4 years, I think. I heard some news about that. I don't think it will take us this long. No way. We're going to be there by like 2050 on the on Mars living. <laughs> 2137 Elfall Ashland Energy Corporation demonstrates helium-3 fuel extractions from the atmosphere of Saturn. Okay. 2142. Again, I think these all things will happen much faster. Construction of Garrigan Station. So jump zero begins beyond the orbit of Pluto. So, okay. So we have escaped the solar system already. 2148. Prospectors discover the Promethean ruins at Promethe Planum on Mars. Okay. 2148. 2149 that's one year later translation of perothean data leads humans to the charon mass relay so we used a relay also just now systems alliance founded to coordinate exploration and colonization of extra solar worlds so you just found it and started using it immediately not like a bad idea 2151 a shipping accident at singapore international space port exposes downwind communities to containers of dust form element 0 Alliance begins construction of Arcteus station. Element zero. Element zero. Did they have one something? A jump zero. Element zero. Some connection. I don't know. Okay. Twenty-one fifty-two. Roughly thirty percent of the citizen children born in Singapore after element zero exposure suffer from cancerous growths. Systems Alliance begins settlement of Earth's first extrasolar colony. World. The planet Demeter. Demeter is the goddess, Greek goddess of seasons and all that. I think, mother of Hades' wife. Uh, Commander Shepard was born, 2054. <laughs> We have put our own name in the entire timeline, I guess. Uh, 2155. When you're one year old, Systems Alliance occupies completed portions of Arcea Station as headquarters. Arcea Station is where, by the way? We don't know. Uh, 2156. Some children of Singapore exhibit minor telekinetic. Okay, I can guess a story here. I guess we were born in Singapore. You know, after this incident, that was 2151. Was the incident where the dust came in? 2154, we were born. So three years later. Yeah, seems likely. So we have. I'm guessing we have some telekinetic abilities. That just makes sense. Uh, Turians encountered human explorers. First contact war. Occupation and liberation of the human colony of Shengxi. So we were there. No, no, we were not. What am I talking about? I'm crazy. Uh, 2158. Humans learn potential of biotics. An international effort to track element zero exposures begins. So roughly 10% of exposed children show some level of biotic ability. And I'm guessing we are one of them. How old were we when this was done? 2154, and this was 58, so we were four years old. I don't think they found us. Maybe they did. Who knows? 2160, so two years after that, System Alliance Parliament formed. 2165, humans establish embassy on Citadel. Citadel, okay. 2170, Baratian slavers attack the Alliance colony of Mindor. Okay, so we are now becoming slaves again. Uh, 2176, Skrillian Blitz. Pirates and slavers attacked Elysium. The 
human capital in the Scylian Verge. Elysian, you know, another Greek reference. Uh, 2177, Treasure Moss, devour the Alliance Colony of Azuki. Okay, so we were here. 2177, how old were we when this happened? I was told there would be no math. 2154, we were born. 2177, okay. I think that's what, that's what phones are for. That's what, you know, we have it. You know, we have computers. So it's 2177 minus the year we were born. 2154. So we were 23. Okay, the 23 year old me went and was mentally scarred forever. And 2178, in retaliation for the Skillian Blitz, an alliance fleet wipes out an army of slaves on the moon of Torfan. And 2183 is the current date. So we are now... We're 29 years old. Hmm. Pretty old. Did not expect that. So there's a lot of stuff. I'm sure they'll teach us all of this later. Oh. Alright. So... Let us continue, as I think I have established, we are cybernetic powers. Did it mention that here? No, just Azuki and that, right? Timeline tells us that. Yeah, okay. So we go back. Alright. WASD to move your character, left, right, forward, backward. Yeah, I know that. Is it just me or are we like way too big? can talk. E? You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. I'll keep him waiting as long as I feel like it. The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. Yeah, yeah, I don't need to repeat. SR1. Is this a door? Is this a portal? The ulcer. So, yeah. You sure this is the best kind of design? I think it's very bad on space efficiency, I would say. But sure. Normandy. World War II. Navigator Presley. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I heard you arguing. Did you press E on this? No. Nope, Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. Uh, what do you mean? Aliens? Bad? You think the Alliance brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Hmm. So I can, I guess I can ask him to investigate, or I'll look into it myself, say goodbye, or just do your job. So I guess Spectres are like a military class, and he's a Turian Spectre. They are top covert agents. Okay, tell me about these stealth what systems. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting-edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper. Less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. Mmm. Cover? For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Okay, so... The ship is a Normandy. We have stealth systems. We should have the first ship like in the entire galaxy? Or the first human ship? Captain. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Hmm. So we're thinking we're overqualified, too much stuff. 
Okay, investigate. Turian Spectre. You don't trust Nihilus. Oh, his name is Nihilus. I don't like Nihilus. Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was a long time ago. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. I guess they're... And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. Hmm. I guess we're gonna expect trouble. Okay. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Nihilus is no ordinary Turian. Yeah. You've got that right, Commander. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. Okay, there's no way to skip this. Nihilus See? looks like he's expecting some heavy action. Oh, I can. I don't like it. Okay, so I guess... You know what? I'll look into it. I'll see it. if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Okay. Something I can do for you, Commander? Oh, I, I was curious about a few things. You and me both. Like I said before, too many things don't add up on this mission. Is it the same stuff? Still, it's Captain Tony. Okay, yes, I'll return. Goodbye. I better head down and see the Captain. Yes, sir. Okay, I got some new stuff. Council Roughly. Races. Nope. Humanity's first contact with an alien race occurred in 2157. At that time, the Alliance allowed survey fleets to activate any dormant mass relays discovered, a practice considered dangerous and irresponsible by Council-aligned races. When a Turian patrol discovered a human fleet attempting to activate a relay, they attacked. One human vessel survived, retreating to the colony of Shanxi. The Turians followed, quickly defeating the local forces. Shanxi was occupied, the first and to date only human world to be conquered by an alien species. The Turians believed the handful of ships they defeated represented the bulk of human defenses, so they were unprepared when the second fleet, under Admiral Castany Drescher, launched a strong counter-offensive, evicting them from Shanxi. The Turians mobilized for full-scale war, drawing the attention of the rest of the galaxy. The Council quickly intervened, forcing a truce. Fortunately for humanity, the first contact war was ended with a diplomatic solution. Okay, so I see. Like I said, I, I told already that it sounded stupid to just put on these, you know, relays. So, Alliance allowed Surface to activate them. The Council of the is okay. So that makes sense. So this is primary. What about secondary? You got anything more? Ships and vehicles. Starship sensors. Light lag prevents sensing in real time a great distance. The ship is firing its thrusters at the Klaxon relay can easily can be easily detected from Earth. 5.75 light hours, six billion kilometers away. But Earth will only see the event five hours and forty-five minutes after it occurs, like a seven point five point seven five. Due to the light speed limit, def defenders can't see enemies coming until they have already arrived because there is FTL travel and communications, but no FTL sensors. Frigates are crucial for scouting and picket duties. Passive sensors are used for long range detection, while active sensors obtain short range, high quality targeting data. Passive sensors include visual, thermographic, and radio detectors that watch innocent objects in space. A powered ship emits a great deal of energy. The heat of the light support systems, the radiation given off by power plants and electrical equipment, the exhaust of the thrusters, starships stand out plainly against the near absolute zero background of space. Passive sensors can be used during FTL travel, but incoming data is significantly deteriorated by the effects of the mass effect envelope and Doppler shift. Uh, mass effect, nice. Active sensors are radars and high resolution LADARs, laser detection and ranging, that emit a ping of energy and listen for return signals. LADARs have a narrower field of view than radar, but radar resolution allows the images of radar objects to be assembled. Active sensors are useless when a ship is moving at FTL speeds. So that is all the timeline, personal history. Okay, so the first human war we saw. And he's a Turian Spectre. What are you guys doing? Just chilling? I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The 
captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Yeah. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. You watch too many spy meets, Jenkins. Uh, yeah, Jenkins. Shush. You don't know nothing. Oh, he's saluting me. Can I salute it back? No, nope, no saluting back. Oh, wow. What happens when I press shift? Okay, that's Navigator Press. We have spoke to him already. I can speak to Dr. Shakwas. Oh, and this guy. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Doctor's right. Yeah. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Well, let's, let's investigate. What about Nihilus? What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. Because he's a fanboy. <laughs> What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Okay, so that's dangerous. You don't have a group like that, usually. Okay, Eden Prime, which is where we are going with our Stealth ship. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? Oh no. What's it like? We're not going to. It's Eden very Prime. peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even paradise gets boring after a while. Why are we going there? Oh, we are going there. There you go. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Hmm. Maybe it's just traveling. Like it's, it's, a, it's a flight. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Be careful. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. Mm-hmm. I think he's going to die first. <laughs> something goes wrong. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. He's, he's the one who's gonna die first. Okay, we got something else. Citadel and Galactic Government. Spectres are agents from the Office of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance and answer only to the Citadel Council. They are elite military operatives, granted the authority to deal with threats to peace and stability in whatever way they deem necessary. They operate independently or in groups of two or three. Some are empathetic peacekeepers, resolving disputes through diplomacy. Others are cold-blooded assassins, ruthlessly dispatching problem individuals. All get the job done one way or another, often operating outside the bounds of galactic law. The Spectres were founded after the Salarians joined the Council. For many years, they operated in secrecy as backroom problem solvers. Only after the Krogan rebellions did their activities become publicized. Assignment of a Spectre is less contentious than a military deployment, but makes it clear that the Council is concerned about a situation. So they are concerned about this flight, even though this flight was, like, like they said, partly funded or something Roughly. by them, by the, by the Council. So there's like a secret mission going on. Alright. Oh, I can open the galaxy map. I... I... Only the commanding officer may specify a destination for the Normandy. I'm not a commanding officer. I'm just a scrub captain. Oh, I mean, they're saluting me. Come on, salute me. He 
did it. He did it. Oh, it's it's Nihilus. I'm supposed to talk to the commander. Excuse me. Have you eaten the commander, sir? Uh, <laughs> okay. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Hmm. Talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. It's quite beautiful. It's beyond beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Hmm... Okay, my guess right now? Some kind of other alien species is gonna invade us. Maybe he's gonna help us, I think, maybe. What's your point? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. Mm -hmm. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Well, that's obvious. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Why does he there must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean. So that's the kind of... the ruins that we found on Mars, right? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why did we tell the Council? I'm glad you would help. Don't worry, we don't need to help you. I mean... Affect every species in Council space. Why did we tell the Council? I'm glad you would help. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The Beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Mm, why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Ooh. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. I'm gonna be That's why I put Spectre. your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. You put my name forward. Support this was the next step. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. It's the training mission. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Okay, so Nihilus is gonna do just sit back and relax. And watch. Sure. And I gotta do all the hard work. Investigate. Pro what Proteans. do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. We're just copying their stuff, or like we learn from their stuff. So n no one else found out this stuff by themselves. We all just took the Protean stuff. It's lazy. <laughs> I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. 
It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Mm -hmm. I mean, beacons. Beacon. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. The wrong hands? I'm guessing the, the pirates and slavers and stuff that we saw. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Terminus systems? The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. Low key. Okay, so I, I talked about everything. Ready Just give go. the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. Of course. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. traffic at all just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold of 38.5 mm -hmm. status Giant report and? 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area oh, I did a squid take us in Joker fast Could and quiet hand. this mission just got a lot more complicated oh yes a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Jenkins is coming with me? And who the hell is Alenko? I guess we'll find out. Engaging stealth systems. Why were they off? Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. It's a small gun. <laughs> Nihilus will scout guy. out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! Alright, so we like are approaching drop point two. It's our, our spot. Drop point two. Oh. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Oh, God. What happened? This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. Oh, I got a gun. Smells like smoke and death. All right, let's get going, shall we? 